That's it's crazy. nice to see. And Anti's been putting in an excellent amount of work uh, at these other uh, events, such as like uh, the uh, the one in Texas. We'll whatever right into whatever it, it was. We're going right into game one. And PK Chris as well. Yet another talented young star player yeah, Chris around here. Chris is probably top five nest right now, I'd say. Is, yeah, there, there you go. Hot start off right away, baby. Yeah, you do that double up here. You do not want to air dodge or do anything. You just want to either, if you have a jump, run. If you have an air dodge, Get the heck out of there. And that's an excellent way to establish your dominance right off the bat. Because now Anti has to respect anytime he's in disadvantage. You want to throw out those nares? Doesn't matter because I am going to force you to be uncomfortable. Great. Right now. Meanwhile, Anti world class. Somebody who's been playing this game since Brawl Days. Since he knows Brawl, yeah. what he's doing and knows how to adjust to these situations. Depends on how well he's able to do it so because he's taking a lot of damage right now. Since, since he was known as uh, J-Cats. Not many people know that. That I do not Anti know. Anti-Sag used to be J-Cats. So here we go. Um, Chris Chris as a player, his nest style really revolves around a very heavy area of effect. And what I mean is he'll try to do he'll try to throw out lots of hitboxes in a little circle. He'll do lots of B reverse uh, mm -hmm. via side magnets as well. And even right there, he's doing the double yeah. side magnet on the way back up to stall it's out. So good. Like, what is anti's option here? And he's using the um the PK thrust to stall too. I'm actually not used to seeing that. PK flash, actually. PK flash, excuse me. Yeah, everyone has a different name for it. No, no I'm, <laughs> you, you are definitely correct. <laughs> I said I have it wrong. To that's the best player, I'm okay man. with it. I, I don't mind getting corrected. <laughs> right now, <laughs> Anti's trying to correct his ways, and he's going to get that up smash, finally putting himself on the board. Yeah, so one thing Anti's going to have to get used to is that most of Ness's play with those hitboxes is all smoke and mirrors. Ness will tend to overextend mm -hmm. at certain points. And if you get him off stage, you have to take full advantage. No jump left. They did. Ness is definitely a little more helped out now mm -hmm. with his uh, with how good the new air dodge mechanic that air dodge is. Basically a third wow, jump. That I don't even know if that combo was true, but it looks so sick. It was, it's a pick up on Anti's great part. advantage hold that Anti is doing right now. Like he's at 142, and he's now he's at zero because back is gonna take that stock. Uh, but he's doing a good job of forcing the. Uh, Ness is Chris back enough. into the corner. Yeah. Ness is floaty enough to take advantage of in those scenarios, so you can pick up a lot of grabs and combos on his when he's on his come down. Mm -hmm. I'm a big fan of these single hit jabs that Anti's doing right now because he's starting to slow down the pace. Like, all right, let me read the reactions out of what PK Chris does. Does he get the S-Mash read there that could have taken that stock? That fireball there was such a good idea too. It really sets you up to, to get Ness in a very uncomfortable position. Okay, try to go for the uh, try to go for the ledge trump with the cape right there. That side magnet off yeah, the ledge was go. perfect because Anti was ready to run back. Whoa! Oh, Chris try to go for another technical. one. <laughs> uh, that's one thing you, Chris excels at. He's very technical. Yeah, you really have to find your way through the area of effect right here. It, Chris is throwing out so many hitboxes to wall you out. And I like the fact that he just opted to go on the other side. Anti trying to read the spot dodge, and he had the right call. Oh, but wow. he got the right Great call on the anti there. Smash right there. Pull out the book up smash. That's all you need to do. Eventually, you need to just let it rip. That's it. Yep. I like. No, oh, never mind. He's going to stay alive. Too soon. This is a free punish now for Anti. Yep. Yeah, just go for the deer. And now, trying Catch to. Catch him on the landing. Oh, he was trying so he hard to read him bro. to go low. He wanted that fair so bad, but he's not going to give it to him. Oh, my gosh. That combo was nice. Okay. You got to give credit to the fact that Anti's been keeping it so close after being so far behind. But PK Chris also, whenever he takes this big damage, he's not looking stressed. Back air is going to take it out. That That's game one going to PK Chris. Yeah, the adaptability on Anti is honestly insane. It, yeah. it, it's, it's pretty nutty. And the fact, but the fact that Chris was able to take that first stock really, really helped him out yeah. a lot. It's huge as a player to be able to keep your composure in those situations over and over and Absolutely. over. Where you're getting buried and you take a first stock loss like that, many people would get stressed out. They would think, crap, what do I do now? Chris, Not Chris did the way really, that he kept it. Yeah. And also, Chris, after losing the stock leads uh, like and bringing back the he even. He was holding, he was trading a yes. good amount. And that's he what you want to do against play. Mario, for sure. Because Mario, Mario has a lot of aerials that either will stop you out or you can trade with them. If you're winning trades and you're up a stock, you're going to win the game. Yeah, and Ness does well in that matchup too because he does have the range on the hitboxes. Like, for sure, Mario has the advantage in the frame data, but the fact that Ness can consistently space your affairs and also has a really great kill option and back throw at all times, Mario can't pressure on shield nearly as much after that. Chris also wasn't overextending a whole lot. He was, like, out of those PSI magnets, he was doing drift away back airs, which were really assisting in, in Mario not being able to grab him. I feel like we're going to see anti-adapt a bit more, especially with the use of that blood. It's such a great tool to open up neutral when you're not too sure how to. I, I think we're going to be seeing a lot of this out of anti. We're going to see yeah. him play slow, go for the single trades, go for the anti-airs. Catching Ness's landings when he's when he's landing low is, is pretty easy for Mario. There's a lot of moves that can kind of catch you mm -hmm. off. Also, I love how anti's using his nair as a great uh, move to open up and just Add some maneuverability and, and, and to you know, hit. Normally, it's a really good thing when you want to throw out those fireballs on approach, and you definitely don't want to stop doing that. Yeah, sure. But PK Chris throwing out, like, being so hefty with these side magnets. Up smash. No, oh, does he nothing. get to grab the other way? 
They tried yeah, to do I, it I like the fact you canceled it there because Mar uh, Anti was definitely in a yeah, position to punish to. that. There's such a large amount of end lag off of that too. If you if you overcommit on it, it's gonna it's gonna stuff you up pretty hard. Mm -hmm. And not going for the up B either as well. You don't want to get back down to the stage yeah. and that PK Chris get advantage on you. Just go for that damage. Chris still keeping a, a good central niche right now. Tried getting tried using a up tilt as anti air to get mm -hmm. air, uh, anti jump. He knows anti has been coming in with a lot of nares and stuff. You see Anti as well, he's trying to remain more grounded now. It's like, look, I don't want to constantly jump at him. I'm getting hit by these uh, these side magnets, and it's leading to potential damage. I I'd rather just respect it. But PK Chris also is not afraid to just put these hitboxes out still consistently. I like the defense coming Ooh, in from Anti. Free back here, but he got spooked. Ooh, the good. The, getting that fair there, because that down smash was almost at his face. Wow, that was an <laughs> interesting trade right there off the up smash. I think that was an air. Mm. Oh, oh, great parry right there by Chris into the up smash. Chris looking really nice. This is going to be a very big upset potentially very early in the tournament. Agreed. You know, if he could steal this out now, that would be huge on his part. If he could go ahead and take care of, uh, like, anti this early, putting him into losers. Ooh, okay. That was a little bit of an unsafe call right there by Chris. And actually dying at that. That looked like he was just about to survive that. Hey, agreed, yeah. Especially at Town and City, it looked like he DI'd it correctly, but... Dome pieces get a hurt, and he was able to close it out. Oh my god, if he actually was able to force him into free fall off that flood, that would have been huge. Yeah, you can't you can do that. That is one actually very powerful technique. So I do want to see Anti actually start doing yeah, that. Yeah, that was very good mental awareness on Anti. Now PK Chris is going to have that in the back of his head. Back here, Stubby Chris. That's his jump. Double jump. Yeah, he's going to have to air dodge Yeah, back. he tried to go for that. That fair right there, but just out of position. Woo, he there. Yo. Anti's really adapting super duper hard and just playing around Chris's area effect and actually baiting Chris out to do the aerials. It's the, it's the, it's the, uh, like the pro player effect. Like, yeah. just being in the business for so long, when you have, like, have, you've had this experience many more times before. You've gone down game one, you realize you need to slow it down. Gets the read on the get up there with that back air and the anti with a very comfortable lead, 20%. Up on this whole stock. This man is a tier. This man literally plays for tier one. So you know he is a tier one player, and his adaptation is on that level as well. But also at the same time, just the growth rate of PK Chris since, it's like, been especially so just beginning of this game, it's ridiculous. It's huge. Like you cannot sleep on Chris at all. He's just been putting in so much work with Ness. He was a that very close candidate for the NYPR last season. It, he was like a, one of those fringe players. He was definitely around 15 or six, uh, about 16 or 17. Mm -hmm. I like the fact he utilized that PK fire on the way back in, trying to force Anti away from him. Anti trying to go for a fair instead of maybe a down air there. I don't know if he was looking for a down air, wow. but he looks for the down smash. Great down smash, yeah. yeah it's getting even back up. though, holy moly. That was a huge difference between game one and game two. Like game, stock one looked much more like game one. And then as soon as Anti started slowing it down a lot, and he got a lot, like a lot of callouts, Chris couldn't establish that same pressure. He forced and Chris to jump so much during that set, and he caught his landing almost every single. He, he also stayed in his face. A, a lot of players are afraid to stay in Ness's face, but if you have good reaction time, mm -hmm. most Nesses will sit in shield because they either want that nair out of shield or they want to get a shield grab. If you can get Ness in that position, that that is exactly what you want to be doing. Take advantage of, of his defense. Take advantage of everything he's going to do. Ness has a very linear out of shield game. He's going to come out with a bear or a nair. Where's the shield grab? You don't really see Nessus come out of shield with anything too crazy. Yeah, it's, uh, not overcommitting is so important, especially in these matchups because they're both brawler archetypes. The difference is, is that you have better zoning and you have better um, mix-up game a bit out of Ness. The difference yeah. is though that Mario is just still pure fundamentals. Just being, yeah. being able to rack up quick damage uh, in succession is one thing, but he does. Oh, oh no, okay, look, losing good that thing train. he realized his jump was ripped there because that would have been an early. He stop. wanted to do that to him. Yes, he did ask wanted to do that to him. Yeah, looking for that fair attempt there, and uh, that, unfortunately for him, not going to get it. But PK Chris making the adjustments here. He's starting to hold the advantage. Gets the reset on the throw, though. Oh, upbeat. That was perfect. Got the sparks off, too, but didn't quite get the kill. Yeah, no reverse there. Not like last game. That's no his jump. jump. And he can't make it back with just a simple air dodge anymore. Oh, he didn't get the fireball at the ledge. That could have potentially led to a good spot. But just stands directly in position where he was going. Knew that that roll was coming. I want to see I want to see Anti going for a little more ledge trumps. That's a real shield grab. That's a back throw. That's a kill. Yeah, that is That's the... What I would say. <laughs> That's the elite <laughs> smash special. Roll behind and get that back throw. It's really good. Like, if you want one way to get around spot dodge canceling, that's a really good way to do it. You know what? Also, speaking of canceling, like, all these way, uh, these uh, side magnet cancels, Anti has been adjusting heavily to these side magnet cancels, that's and that's been using, uh, like, he's stopping his landing advantage a lot. I think we're going to see Chris start to notice that, though. I think he's going to start landing more with, like, fairs. Put out multi hitboxes instead to try and throw them off. What was that trade? Chris is definitely going to have to slow it down a lot more. 
it, it, it can get really tough against Mario because Mario can actually consistently with Punish Ness pretty reliably. Yeah. Ma Mario can steamroll wow. if you let him. But Mario's not really like one out to just constantly force that initiative. He has to get the right call. <laughs> the PK yeah, Thunder that, actually that does take work. it out. That does work as a kill move in this game. It's way better than it was before. All right, that's no jump left. Yep. Oh, no, actually, he's still safe to jump. Woo! All right, still holding advantage there as well, even after that. He's been catching a lot of Chris's approaches, too. He's been just holding his neutral, and, and he's standing his ground really, really well. You, you, you haven't seen anti back off too much, because he knows you have to stay in his base. Yeah, consistently going for these two frames at the ledge, and just continue continuously reset at the ledge there. Like, all right, look, if I didn't get the, uh, the ledge app I wanted, let me keep you here. Chris just trying to find some way to make it back, though. Getting that, he tried to go for the double fair into down air. Yeah, that would have stolen a stock really yeah, early, really especially seriously. the anti-jump. Oh, that's not oh, he's only though. at 25%, though. He has to get the full loop of that to actually do the maximum amount of damage and get the maximum amount of knockback. If you just get hit towards the end, it won't send you as far back. Yeah, you see anti looking for these anti-airs now, because okay, the fact that he's at kill percent, it's like, all right, I've been letting him stay grounded quite a bit, but at this point, I need to make it so he feels uncomfortable. PK Chris actually starting to roll, slowly bring this back to 76% yeah, to 135. Whoa, that was almost a really great tomahawk right there. Almost, oh wow, if that was a sweet spot back there, he would have been dead. Oh, that's a free grab back row. Not going to take the stock just yet. Anti is looking for that back air right now. Let's trump. No, didn't get it, but he actually got the, the back throw. baited. He fake ledge trumped him. That was insane. That's it. He actually baited out the ledge trump because he thought Chris was going to do it. And he just rolled behind him when he came out. That was immaculate by Anti. And even though he caught him with it before, it's like, Ooh. oh, trying to go for an He's early trying to stop. end it. He's like, I, I got I, Dinner's coming up. I got a girl on Tinder right now. I got to go out with. I, I, I need you to get out of here. Kid. He, he might end this right now if he just nailed oh, right he there. He didn't get. Over. Yeah, he was trying so hard to get the trade on that PK Thunder because he had no jump there. That could have closed it out. Chris just can't seem to find any answers. He's yet to get a hit within this past 80 percent, and you can see the visible frustration on the way he's playing right now. However, yeah, gonna take that stock right now. It's now even stock. Ness can. Ness can literally sweep stocks under your feet, so I really I mean, want to see how Chris the very first game. stock of this game was a zero to death coming in from PK Chris. If he can get another one like that, if he can steal a jump He's and got get the momentum. The PK, yeah, oh, trade with that, with that PK Thunder, get it out of your face. Nair can also go through that pretty exceptionally well. Alright, just waiting patiently. Great, great by Anti. He's by Anti trying to read him. Oh, that's jumping wow. again. Trying to combo off of the reflect, Woo! but he's going to get him with the up smash, and that's going to be it. Anti going to take it 2-1, and yet another very intense close match that we've had super so far here. Super, duper close. But uh, Anti, was just, you could just see him taking control of that game slowly. That's the thing about Ness. Once you start to figure him out a bit, it becomes, it becomes a bit harder for Ness to mix up his options out of shield. You're forced to play a little more defensively, especially against a character like Mario that can whiff punish you very reliably. And it's, again, in that brawler archetype, both of them want to hold advantage so exactly. bad. But the thing is, if that if you start swinging too much against a, a character like Mario, you're going to have a bad time. And he was not only doing a good job of stopping the momentum that Chris had, but really not allowing him to land the way he was before. First.